Got to get a house here. We're going to do a, it's going to be a whole full, full renovation on the interior. I'm taking samples. Um, this house is uh, over $2 million. Just show you a little bit about the house. It's going to add a, one little half bathroom. This is a bedroom here. This looks like three bedrooms. So one and a half baths. So we'll just put this stuff over here for now. This is the dining area. Or actually kitchen. Kitchen here, very small. Living room. Well, I found this in the attic. I, I talked to the owner, he was here. And he, he didn't know what's, he didn't really kind of care about it. I said, I'll, I'll take it. It's like a Viking ship. Kind of cool. It's actually in pretty good shape, actually. I had, not sure how this went. Maybe like that, something like that. Something like that, I guess. This just fell off. A little anchor. Kind of a little cool little find, huh? Not sure if it's homemade or it's commercially built. It's got some, some you know, issues. But somebody could fix it better. Clean up a bit. Okay, so obviously living room, dining room. Got a balcony here. Add a feature here. Go on back here. Got a swimming pool. That kind of nice. Pump is circulating still. So this is what two million gets you. These houses were were not too long ago, but one one point two million jumped up in price pretty quick. It's even kind of old here. Kitchen way way well they're taking this wall out completely. So it'll be open all the way that way. Redo all the washrooms, take off the popcorn ceilings. This will come out redone. All the flooring comes out. Obviously doors, trim, everything like that. Scrape ceiling, that bathroom comes out. All the trim gets modernized. So this gets changed probably. Obviously carpets, all, all flooring comes out. The subfloor comes out. Drain tiles get done around the house too because they figure it's something leaking. Is that lead or something? Why is this so heavy? Oh yeah, a piece of lead. Huh, bonus. Why wow, it's so heavy, it's lead. Okay, so this comes out here, all ceiling tiles. This gets gutted to studs. All drywall, look at a big spider here. Spider, all this comes out. Look, it be all modern down here. I think this. Uh... Okay, here's the pool room. I wonder how they put a jack here. Oh, it's got a new boiler. Hmm. So. Just looking at the trinkets around. So this all comes out here. Okay, obviously washrooms out, tiles come out, all drywall. It'd be just a shell down here, total shell. I'm not seeing no treasure or anything interesting. The boat is kind of cool, but um, lots of paint cans. So, <coughs> we're, so we're taking samples for asbestos. So whatever 
Comes back as best has got it removed before renovations straightforward. Let's just see here. Okay, gotta get to work here. Um, I think it all comes out here. I think this brickwork comes out, ceiling comes out. Let's sort of something in here. No door seal. Okay, this is one house I'm testing for now. Then I have to look at another job that's partially burnt. And then the house that I want to do is, there was a lot of stuff in the yard. The guy had all, the yard was full of junk and stuff. So he's supposed to moved out now. So we'll see what, what he left behind. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna be here for at least an hour minimum. We're gonna draw, draw maps and all that, take samples, cover the samples up. Um, pretty straightforward, okay. Okay, I found a, a gun cleaning kit here. It's a stag, it looks actually really nice. Not sure how old, how old it would be. It looks pretty old. Wow, it's a beautiful little kit. Solvents. I don't know, 22 cal. Hmm. Is that a beauty? Look at that. Stag in a plastic case. I'm thinking probably it's gonna be 70s or something like that. Got the box for it too. I wonder if I can find something on it. I thought it was a ballast, I didn't realize. Rock, Rockwood Ontario manufacturing stag and shifting some of that products. Been here for a long time with that dust. Take this dust off. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. Never know what you can find. Hmm. Okay, well, that's a little bonus. I found three pieces of copper, too. Right here. Huh. At least 10 pounds of copper, for sure. Sitting in the rafters. So you don't really know. I finished upstairs already. Took 12 samples. I had a feeling there's something hidden here. Even paint cans. One time I found a bunch of coins and paint cans. Just never know. And under under benches, people hide stuff. Hmm. So you never know. Usually they just uh, hire a moving company and they clean the house out. But obviously you don't, oh look at this, even this sledgehammer here. Just sitting there, look at that. They don't miss anything. That's a good little score. Definitely left behind by the old people that lived here before. Just never know. I found a gun thing sitting right over here. 
I thought it was a ballast. Look at the ballast box. Hmm. Okay, well, that's it for treasures, I guess. And I gotta finish this basement here. Okay. Be back. Well, you'll see the next house when I go to either Richmond, well, two houses in Richmond. One I'm gonna look at is burnt, kind of estimation, and the other one is an inspection. Okay. Okay, I'm at my job here. Uh, in Richmond, we're actually next to this house. We tested that house already. And this is the same builder, builder's brother. Looks like there's a hatch up here too. Goes into this part, we'll have to check. But uh, the guy's still moving stuff here. He's got stuff everywhere. So, not sure what he's taking, what he's not taking, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll go downstairs here. It's really basic kind of house. Carpets everywhere. Well, this is like 2.4 million because uh, it's subdividable to make two lots. That's why they're so high. There's so much stuff in the yard here. But uh, looks like it's drywall plaster, so it's probably gonna be okay. Next door has got drywall, basement drywall, and lots of floors. <coughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Washroom. Could be some drywall there, maybe. Well, there is, there's a thin, there's a two foot strips by four foot, or 15 inches probably by four feet, strips of drywall, and then you put plaster over it. We call it drywall plaster. Looks like the dog is here all over the place. Old carpets. Let's look at a trailer up. He said he'll be out tomorrow, but there's so much stuff on his property, it's unbelievable. Old timer. Lots of metal. I just don't know if he's taking the metal. There was uh, bicycle rims. He said, oh yeah, I'm taking those. I said, what are you doing with them? He's gonna make some sort of a propel. Pro Is he gonna check for stuff like that? See that? Same as his kitchen, but he says he's gonna make some sort of pedal bike that has two gears or, or some kind of thing. I don't know. A lot of dreamers out there, but you never know. So, this is dining room, living room. Obviously, went through the kitchen. Kitchen. One bedroom, so three bedrooms up here. Bathroom. Is there a master bathroom? Nope. So one one bathroom upstairs. What well, takes time is not take samples. You're gonna have to look under the carpets, and if you if you see a floor, well that's a new floor. You have to look under that floor because it's possible there's a floor underneath it. Same with here. I have to chisel through this to the subfloor, to the to actual subfloor. Like this looks original, but a lot of times it's built up layers. When I take the sample, I can see what the material is, what it looks like. If it's particle board and thin plywood, I have to investigate. Okay, well, I think that's pretty well for the tour. Let's see if I get some crap. I have to go back to the other job there. I forgot to take a sample. 
Well, I, I, I remember it as they locked the door, I couldn't get back in. Look at these loading plants up maybe. Who knows? So I feel bad because the guy was told he could be here for three or four years. And who knows how long he stayed for. He's not, not super happy. He said he was supposed to be here longer than they told him. But, you know, they cut it really short. That's a problem when you rent a house. They tell you what you want to hear. Yeah, I only live here for five years. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And when you rent it, six months later, kicking out. That's a big problem. So it looks like they're grabbing trees and stuff. That's a, could be an apple tree. It's really tall and skinny. Probably an apple. Not sure. Anyways, I could say, um, sad, right? Because, you know, this guy obviously packs a lot of junk. But this junk is more like just stuff you won't get rid of. It's my theory. He's not a scrapper. He's just a... He says he, he has a dental machine in there. If I can film it after, it looks awesome. It's like a, a, a dental rig. It's got a the little spittoon area and then the, the, the drills and all that special tools on a stand. He says he uses it for engraving. It's a 1950, 50s or something. I'll see if I can film that after. He's going to be here for a while. I'll be here for a while, but I don't want to bug them too much, but they're supposed to be out of here anyways. They've been here for three, four days longer than they had to. So the house is done anyways. I'm ready for me, the house. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see what I can video after.